Hi everyone. So this afternoon, I got this dropped off. It is my second headache hat. So it's the Tolochea Hot and Cold Therapy. It's also got 360 degrees compression therapy. It is a wearable ice hat. Flexible, hat, stretchable, and form-fitting. And it says it's safe and reusable expert grade gel. It is 1.4 pounds. It is good for migraines, general headaches, well, any types of headaches, <laughs> uh, tension, sport injuries even, overexertion, anytime you need hot or cool therapy. So if you've checked out the other video, you know that I got the ice cap migraine hat for my uh, severe sinus pressure headaches. And this is excellent timing because we've got another big pressure drop starting Wednesday morning to the, and it goes till Thursday morning and we are dropping 26 millibars. Five millibars makes me feel floaty already. Uh, 26 is going to hurt. So hopefully this will help. So let's take a look. It came to me not fully wrapped and just sealed there and there. So it's a good thing I was at home, Amazon. Although, you know, with the pandemic, where am I going to go? Okay, so let's pull this out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so the Ziploc bag, yeah, that looks good. It's, yeah, it is basically just like one big gel cap. Oh, this is cool. So I know a few people have done some unboxing and some reviews of this online and have been unsure of the pronunciation. I uh, dug out my notes from Italian class, my dictionary, and also checked with a friend and uh, confirmed the pronunciation. So, Polotea. Oh my gosh, this feels cool. So, if you check out the other video, and I'll just pop the, the link over up top, you'll see that one of my little quibbles about the ice cap is that it really pushes down on the on my eyeglass frames. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick disinfect. Are there any instructions? Oh, yay! Instructions. We have instructions. We have a dear customer. Thank you. Okay, so we'll try it with the glasses on. Uh, before I put it on, I want to compare it with my ice cap which I have here and I'll be putting on shortly because I've got a case of floaty head. I guess I am starting to feel the drop. Oh yeah, so see, it is not as high up. Okay. It does not have the, it's not gel on top, so I don't have the coverage there, but definitely everywhere else. So here goes. Oh, okay, let's center that. I'm not too crazy about having <laughs> that so big and bold, but if it was a bit more understated, oh, I almost could have gone bigger. That's the way it looks like there. So that's the way it looks like from behind. So I guess it goes down far enough there. Uh, the other one goes down a little bit if I pull it all the way down. I, I really do like that it is it's coming down and it's covering my third eye, the frontal sinus area there that usually gets hit first. Here is good. It fits differently. It's still snug. So compression wise, it, it's not as strong of a compression as the other one but there is a little bit of a squeeze. Microwave and Aslo microwave and freezer safe. They needed a proofreader. <laughs> uh, Non-toxic material, latex free, leak proof, no smells. Lay the hat flat in the fridge for one to two hours for immediate use. If colder temperatures needed, freeze it lower, longer. Wear a hat for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, how to clean it, hand wash with a damp towel. Do not submerge. 
the hat in water, lay flat and air dry. Do not machine wash. Okay. Yeah, I think I will get some good use out of this, but again, uh, I, the true test is going to be to, to freeze it and actually use it during a huge pressure drop or leading up to a pressure drop since that's, I usually will start feeling it beforehand, hours beforehand. Back again, ready to test this. I did try it for a few hours last night and it worked okay uh, during the thunder snow that we got. Uh, although as the pressure got unstable, a bit more unstable, I really wanted the ice cap. So I'm gonna start teaching and we're gonna give this sucker a try. So, metolochea. And yeah, the nice thing is I should be able to teach online with this on and the headphones. So, ooh, yeah, having that in the uh, freezer all day. <laughs> oh, that feels good, okay. I mean, it would be nice to have a bit firmer compression, but I think for right now, I recently did take uh, some sinus medication, so uh, the combination should keep me functional for lessons, so wish me luck. I'll report in later. Hi everyone, I am back a few days later than I originally anticipated. My apologies. Uh, this is actually, I think, my fourth attempt at recording this segment, uh, the final segment from my review. Uh, we've been going through, I think this is the third wave of the barometric pressure roller coaster this week. So we've been doing like up 30, down 32, and we're still in the middle of it. The reason for re-recording is every time I recorded and listened to it afterwards, realized I forgot some key points that I really wanted to share. So I've got them written down, not going to forget this time. So here we go. So I've been using the Tolochea hat for four days now. I am alternating it with the ice cap. When I first tested it for teaching, uh, I put it in the freezer overnight and it came out still pretty pliable. Uh, just, you know, just a tiny bit stiffer than, than this. The only thing is, because it is just straight up spandex uh, between the gel pack and your skin, when this goes on, if it's been in the freezer overnight, it goes on cold. It's like putting ice right on your head. So it wasn't a nice cold feeling it was a i feel i'm like i feel like i'm coming down with a cold cold so i wound up taking it off and just letting it warm up just a bit before putting it back on well i did test it for a 60 minute lesson and discovered that eh, within 10 minutes into the lesson it warmed up so the that safety warning of not wearing any cold therapy for more than you know 15 minutes in the case of this hat uh, 30 minutes uh, for for the other one well you don't have to worry about freezing your skin because it doesn't last long enough for that to be a problem so then after that point it just becomes a regular compression hat as a compression cap or a compression hat I find Support wise, it's, I'd rate it a medium. So if you, you take maybe like, you know, a merino wool tube, one of those little neck tubes or scruffs that you can wear over, like as a headband uh, or, you know, as a scarf, that, that would be light. And then this would be, I'd say medium. And uh, the ice cap would be on the other side of the spectrum as being very, very firm, strong support for compression. The other thing about it is, I'll just give you a, a good close up of this hat. So the compression is not adjustable. So you get what you get. It does fit well enough. So as you can see, it comes down. It does cover my third eye, which is ground zero. I would prefer if it came down just a little smidge more because then I would and I can pull it down, but it's going to sneak back up a little bit. Uh, my preference is to have it 
cover the third eye, but also catch the top of the ethmoid sinuses. I have learned that if I can keep the ground zero, so frontal sinuses and the ethmoids, um, cooler and, you know, keep the inflammation down for as long as possible, then that, that minimizes the inflammation down to the sphenoids and the maxillary sinuses, which, uh, you know, diminishes the severity of explodey head. <laughs> Floaty head's bad enough. It's like you have a brain fog. Now, because it's soft and, you know, it's just one gel band versus the five gel packs of the ice cap, it's not really pushing or, you know, tugging, bearing weight down on my glasses. So hooray for that. So is it effective? Well, it depends on where you are with your headache. So if it's a severe headache, no, this is not enough compression support. Um, if it's a medium headache or a light headache, it's, it should do the trick. But then it also depends on where you're feeling the headache. So I will continue to use this hat, uh, but I, I will use it more just for the compression capabilities, not for the ice. Uh, if you use it for heat therapy, do let me know in the comments how you've been finding it. And if you also have this hat, I'd be interested to, in hearing uh, your observations and your experiences with the Tolachea hat. Uh, this is the, the one cap that I would feel comfortable wearing outside in public, because really it just looks like a regular hat with an interesting brand name, right? Uh, if you're interested in buying the hat, uh, I will put the link down to Tolachea as well as some other online stores where you could order it from. You can get it from Amazon as well, uh, but do shop around because uh, I do find prices do vary. <laughs> yep, so that's, that's it for the Tolachea headache hat. Uh, I'll definitely use it, I'll definitely keep it, but um, it's going to be the, the lighter duty hat in my sinus headache management during all these Chinooks and thunderstorms and thunder snows, because thunder snow is a thing in Alberta. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please hit like. If you've got any questions or comments, please drop them down below. If this is your first time checking out the channel, do take a look at uh, some of the other videos there. And uh, if you want to find out when there's going to be new content uploaded, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks once again. Keep well. We, we're hitting springtime in the Rockies, so we've got a few more Chinooks ahead of us, so stay well, take care of your, you know, sinus headaches and migraines, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye!